So the person I want to speak about is someone who I experience as having such a strong integrity with everyone she comes across. When I first walked into her restaurant, I literally walked into a group of employees. You know how we was dancing up here earlier? They was kind of just dancing, just cooking food, you know, like, like the Krusty Krab, SpongeBob, just, <laughs> just, just adoring themselves. And I'm like, where am I? This is the most fun restaurant I think I've, I've ever seen. And then the, one of the employees comes up, like, oh, what's up? How's it going? Welcome to, you know, welcome to our place. Welcome to Tea Loft. And I'm meeting this employee. I'm like, where, where's the boss? Is you guys' boss here? She's like, oh, I'm the owner. <laughs> like, she's the owner. So, like I said before, she is the blast of this evening. Let's please give it up for Stacy Plamadon. If this life is one act, why do we live? You already know. You already know. We put them right you already know. Yes, we give it up. That's it. Okay, you lead. You lead. I will not you lead. My days making a phone. We following your lead. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. So Living in the moment. We got a random exercise for you. You're going to find a partner and you're going to start dancing with them living in the moment right now. Find a partner. Live in the moment. Be in the moment. Find somebody. Easy and breezy. Peace in my mind. Face. Yeah. Find a partner. Live in a moment. I'm in a moment. Who's in a moment? Who's living in a moment? Forget everything. Let's be awkward. Let's be weird. Why we gotta be so professional? Who cares? We in the moment. We got all day. We here all day. Find a new partner. Keep dancing. Find a new partner. I'm going to make this so weird, it's going to make you cringe. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Living in the moment. Living my life. Easy and breezy. Please rise. Make up a new dance. I want you to embarrass yourself. I want you to embarrass yourself. There you go. Do something you would never do in public. It don't hurt nobody. Alright, slowly return to your seats now. You've all made fools of yourself. Perfect. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. That's what I walked into in her restaurant my first time there. He really did. <laughs> so, Stacy, I want to say thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Those were two really hard acts to have to follow. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. You believe me, your energy is, is so infectious, and it's, you're definitely a, a, a blessing. For all Thank of us. You. Oh, and so, first question I want to say is, so you work, you, you own the franchise of T-Loft Health Cafe. Yes, which unfortunately due to the pandemic is down to one. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a really hard, been a really hard year. Yeah. And to come to terms with that. Yeah. But there's hopes of rebuilding. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about that. Yeah. So you're telling me that you, you own one restaurant. Now I, own, now I own one. That's, you know, that's more than a lot of us. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is easier than three. It is easier than three. Yeah, I really love it. Like, her restaurant got hit hard by COVID, and she still stayed positive. She still stayed through it and everything. And even as COVID was happening, I, would, I, I went there twice as much, you know, just to support. And, and I want to say that the way you led your team through COVID, through all of this, is why I chose you to come up here. Well, thank you. Yeah, they are, they are all so inspired by you. You are such an amazing person. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give it up for her. Like, can we stand and give it up for her? You're amazing. Yes. I told Alan, I just make juice. It's really not, <laughs> it's really not a big thing. Yeah. yeah. So, 
So when it comes to your restaurant tea loft, can you tell us a little bit about what makes it different? What I feel like, what I feel is different is I want everyone to walk in there no matter, you know, it's a health cafe, which is intimidating to some people. And I want everyone to walk in no matter what stage of health you're in. I mean, we're gluten-free, which is, we cater for celiacs. But sometimes people who are overweight or other things, they're intimidated by coming into a health food restaurant. Mm -hmm. Or it used to be we didn't have a lot of men, but we do now. But I wanted everyone to feel health, um, feel welcomed. I want, I try to learn people's names because we do have a lot of loyal customers and just to be able to, we love like when we see Alan, <laughs> Alan, you know, yeah. like, yeah. and we have others that we kind of scream and, yeah. you know, get excited about. But I think we want the customers to feel like they matter. We're not just, we're really not, I'm not just there about to make money. Um, I actually haven't even paid myself in a year and a half. So, I mean, I'm there because yeah. I love it. Amazing. Amazing. So, what culture do you seek to create at T Loft? Very accepting. And you know, when I had the three, uh, the three locations, we had a much more diverse group. I mean, I am down to like seven employees, but to welcome any anybody to have a chance to to have a job mm. and do their best and mm. f feel like they're part of a team where they matter. Yeah. That was why I wanted to do this anyway. Mm. You wanted to create a place that anyone's welcome and they feel significant. And do you understand how many people don't get that at home? Right. They and don't get that at home. That was, and we do as a food service, we do employ a lot of teens. And I do feel like maybe I took on the mother role for some you of are. them as that's, well. And that's what I noticed. That's what I noticed. You know, she does have a couple of teens that work there and they, they really like look up to you. They really honor you because you're teaching them these core life lessons. And I'm a firm believer that whenever we have a job, our income should be the least thing we're paid. What we're paid at our job should be character values, development, how to be better community leaders, how to be a better person in society. And so when I came into your restaurant, I've had like interviews almost with some of your employees, and they all are very consistent about how you lead at that restaurant. They're all consistent. They all say the same thing. They all love you. you know? So that's just it's such a remarkable thing. So for you, why is positivity important? I don't really know how to be negative. I mean, I just not. I, just, <laughs> I don't know how to be. I, I don't know how to be negative. I See mean, what I'm talking I do, about? but I've had a I've had a lot of life experiences that a lot of people don't know about me, and they've not all been great. But I've always came through, and so being seeing the negative, it just doesn't it it doesn't work out. Oh man! Oh <laughs> my goodness! Is that is he? See, it's funny how it's some like every once in a while you'll be walking walking Earth. And you'll come across an angel, and it's just, yeah, that's so amazing. She doesn't even know how to be negative. I didn't know she was going to say that. I mean, I, mean, <laughs> I just try to see the positive in every person. You see you know, the positive and that, in And that doesn't person. mean that I haven't been treated bad or taken advantage of because I, you know, I've had yeah. to learn some hard lessons about being nice and trusting. Yeah. What's the, what's the key thing that's staying strong through all of that? Every day is a new day. Mm, okay. The, Yep. Every day's a new day. Every day's a new day. So, final question: How can people connect with you? Um, we're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. Yep. I answer all of the re all of the messages, mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of people seem to have my cell phone number. So <laughs> that is an option too. Yeah. Or you know, and so I'll talk in a second. But we're actually you know not open at the moment due to another reason mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so Definitely. It, it's a little harder to call our store at the moment Definitely. but i answer the facebook or instagram immediately so yeah yeah so you are here you want to tell us talk about what does it take to cultivate a positive team and teamwork and i'll let you have the show and we please give it up for stacy plamadon well i have to have a few notes because i'm not super public speaker anymore. Um, so about a year and a half ago, I bought T-Loft from the prior owner. A lot of you probably have known T-Loft. It's been around for seven years, since 2013. And the other owner had just some challenges that happened, and she checked out. Um, and I will say, I forgot to add that before that, I owned a yoga studio called New Day Yoga. But so I learned a lot of team building from that. But so I walked into T-Loft in the... <laughs> 
she had been checked out for about a year and there was really just no leadership and the place was full of drama. I mean, it was so drama, drama, drama that no one wanted to work with this person. Um, they actually, my second day, I got called into a meeting about all these horrible things that a manager was doing. And I mean, it was overwhelming. I was like, wow, I wouldn't have expected this. They just didn't have a lot of leadership. Um, so customer service was struggling. The business, you know, when I looked at the financials, it was doing great. But in that year it took me to buy it, things had just de declined, declined, declined. And so I went in, the employees weren't motivated. Um, they just didn't feel like they mattered at all. I don't even know. They said they didn't know who the owner was when I talked to them. I mean, not to be saying, you know, just things happen and, as a business owner and I think, her time was just over and so but what happened to the business is that it got very negative um, so I came in there I fixed all the broken equipment which helped a little bit and because um, <laughs> employees don't like to use broken sprayers that spray their face and um, but what but what I really wanted to change was I wanted those people to see they mattered and I learned all their names there were 43 of them and so I learned all their names and I started, I wanted to learn every single job. I, I didn't want to be the owner that just sat at home and like did the numbers. I wanted to like make the smoothies, make the juices, learn every single thing about it. So I learned all of their jobs and I would usually work. My intention was to work one day a week in every store. I ended up working seven days a week <laughs> in all the stores. Um, so as, so for a while, some of the food service has kind of some weird thought patterns. People said when the owner's around, that means there's problems. And I said, we're going to throw away all that. And I'm here as a team. I'm working with you. We're doing this together. So we ended up building a really great three stores. We, and we became a really strong family and team. And then, um, you know, COVID hit. So I made the hard decision. I had to close two of the stores. So the Plaza store and the Leewood store, I did close those. So we had State Line, which was the central store. So that was our, our thought is that we will, you know, that it's, it's in the middle of the two. So that store was open. And then on August 3rd, um, a pipe broke under the ground and it flooded horribly. <laughs> and so we are closed now because it, uh, they had to rip out all of the walls and um, throw away everything we had. But the good point is we're going to have a brand new store. I'm going to put it with the colors I want. We're having new tables. It's going to look fresh. We're going to have a huge party. I was talking to the DJ. <laughs> and so, and this new store will be the one that kind of sets the tone for, like, there will be more tea loft. Like, I'm not going to be gone. So I want to talk, to the, so there are five areas that I kind of came up with that kind of helped create this positive team. Not everyone probably wants to dance and stuff, but. Um, so it might take a little bit to have your dream team. Um, it did take a while when I came in. Um, you know, some people had to be weeded out. One of the main things is you need people that buy into your system. So mine's a restaurant. We have specific systems, but I mean, that, that relates to any business. I had a, a manager that wanted to be a vegan chef, and, and we have vegan food, but we're not a vegan restaurant. She fought me every single day to be a vegan restaurant and, you know, started refusing to do the things that we were doing that didn't work. So she ended up having to, having to go. That just created negative for all of the staff. It just it wasn't working. And, we, you know, I had another one that didn't believe in plastic cups, so she refused to order cups. She can't have a restaurant without cups. So you, she had to, she ended up resigning. So the, the negative people that were there, they kind of ended up making their way somewhere else. So, and sometimes you do have to maybe let some people go. It's just, that is part of the job. Um, you want to help, you do want some chemistry. You know, everyone's not going to like each other. And it's not even probably the best thing for everyone to hang out after work. But they have to be able to work together. And we are a very diverse group at the restaurant Alan's referring to. But we all have good work chemistry. We all have a good time and find something to talk about. Um, so you also, when you're interviewing people, you do, I try very hard to just hire the positive people. Sometimes they put on a really good show <laughs> at the interview. So that does happen too. 
But then that leads me to the next part was my part is you have to be part of the team. So whether you're the owner, the manager, the team lead, and what, no matter what you do, and I mean, for me, it's going to be pretty basic, but I take out the trash, you know, too. It's like that's, I'm not going to, that's not beneath me. No job is beneath me. And I think that that did wonders for the staff to see that I do everything that they do. And we make everyone share the job, share the responsibilities. Um, they all are the same importance to me, even though they may have different roles there. The teens and, you know, we, we learn, we, we have a good time. Um, so the next part would be, you have to be positive too. And, you know, I, I'm not saying, I said, I, I don't really, I'm not negative, but I don't, I don't have a perfect life outside of work. I have all kinds of stuff that's going on. I have teens, if that says anything. <laughs> so, but I have to leave that at the door. So I try to teach them that we have to leave all of our personal problems at the door, whether you fought with your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever happened the night before. When we're at work, we're going to live in the moment, and we're just going to have fun while we're there. So that's really hard. A lot of people can't, you know, leave things at the door. Um, our brains, you know, are hardwired to, to thrive on bad news and gossip. So we try really hard not to do that, and we try to see the positive. So there's a lot of things that happen to us in food service. I mean, the health department walks in, the... You know, you get threatened for shutdown because your sink has a bubble. I mean, we try to just see the positive. We're going to fix it. Our, you know, Kirsten, who's here in the audience tonight, was with me when the flood happened. She grabbed a broom, and we, you know, we're trying to flush the water out. Now, we, we couldn't. It was over it was to, like, our ankles. But we were laughing. It was a horrible, horrible, horrible mess. <laughs> for four hours, the water came out. And it... But we, you know, we made it positive, and we sat outside the next day, and we told all the customers, you know, this happened, and we could have probably really gotten a little depressed. And I try to think, like, oh, this is terrible. This is a pandemic. You know, my mind could start going there. So try to see the good and not focus on the negative. Um, we tried to make a really fun work environment. And I know, you know, in the corporate world, my, my husband's in the corporate world, so um, I know all about it. It's not near as fun as what I get to do. But, you know, I let them pick the music. They get to kind of pick their own clothes as long as it's appropriate. We talk about fun things. We don't, you know, it's not sterile. We keep it fun. We, you know, we maybe we, I try to get them to make TikToks with me, but for some reason, the oldest person is the one that wants to make the TikToks. But um, we have fun. You know, we've had to learn to do everything differently, this curbside stuff, so... You know, we've now put food in people's trunks. And so it's, it's a whole different way of thinking. But they've, they've adapted to it, and we, we've had fun. We might we do funky walks as we're going to the car and stuff like that. Um, and, the, and the last thing is that you just need to be encouraging. And Brad spoke so much about that. But I always listen to ideas. Maybe, you know, um, Kobe has an idea for a smoothie. We're going to try it. He's going to make it. It might taste terrible. But we made it. We don't ever tell, you know, it's just building people up, and no matter what job you have. And we, you know, use mistakes as learning. I, I know as a, I've had so many jobs in my life, and people have made me feel, you know, really bad about myself. And I think that I never wanted to treat a human being like that. Um, my team also knows if they have a problem, per, you know, whatever it is, work or personal, they can come to me. We'll, I'll fix it. I'll do whatever. I'll, you know, I'll give them a ride, whatever they need. So um, I'm just really grateful to have been here tonight to share my experiences. Grateful for my team um, at T Loft. And I'm really missing them right now. This has been really hard. And I just want to end with my favorite quote by Maya Angelo. And it's I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but they never forget how you made them feel. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.